Okay, today we're going to install hinges. Okay, we now have three sizes of hinges. Flat hinge, small, medium, and large. This is the medium that we're going to install. Okay, now we're going to use our hinge slaughter kit, which Dubro makes. We have three sizes of, for three sizes of the hinges, a picker, and a guide to make sure our slot is in the center of the wood. I measured where I want the hinges, lay the guide over that, over that opening, get my smaller hinge slotter, and start the, the opening. I work it in the wood as far as I think I can, and I'll use the size that I'm going to use for the, hinge, the hinges I'm going to use right now. Work in there. Work into the uh, wood. And once I get it in, I can remove the guide and finish off the opening just by working in back and forth, back and forth. I've got the wood all loosened up. Now I've got to use the picker. Now this little picker will take out the excess balsa wood that I've got in there, clean out the slot, work both ways, and pre-fit the slot, to make, uh, the hinge, to make sure, pre-fit the hinge to make sure it fits it like that. Now there's a little trick I use when cementing these in with epoxy or CA. I use a little oiler, and I just put a little drop or so on every hinge, and I work it in just a little. This will prevent any seizing or gluing of the pivot itself. And when I pre-fit everything like this, and everything fits properly, you gotta make sure they do, otherwise you're in trouble if you don't. And you're happy with the fit like this, remove them. And one at a time, I would use, a, this happens to be a little CA, use the medium grade. Smear it on just a little bit, don't go too far because it's gonna move anyway, on both sides of each hinge, and insert them carefully. Do the same with all three. Then when these are done, and they're in good, and they're cured. Then I would use the same method. Just put a little bit of a CA on each side, a little bit at the very end, and both, both of them, both sides, like that. And just pre-fit them back again. Now let them sit for a while because if this is five minute epoxy, <clears throat> you wanna be sure they're not curing and then seizing the pin. That's what the oil is for. And every so many minutes, just try it again, make sure it's free. If you're using a 20 minute, you can wait a good five minutes or more to try it, make sure it frees up. So when it's fully cured, you might have to just tweak it and you're done. That's the flat hinges. Okay, now we have pin hinges. These are the round ones that are pretty familiar with, they're very easy to install. We're gonna show you how we do it and why. First, we use the same guide with the proper cross member that'll uh, guide the, uh, the marker in there. I already marked the position where I want the hinges. I've got some pre-fitted already. Lay this over just like you did on the wooden one. And I made a little tool. This is just a standard 440 push rod with the threaded end. Grind a tip on it, put a little fe piece of fuel line tubing in the back end, and work it in into the hole. Once you get it started, you can remove it, the guide, and work this in little by little until it's amazing how well it works. You just go all the way as far as you, that threaded portion was about the length of the, and pull it out, it also cleans it. Now, make sure it fits in there which is fine. Now what I've done, I also use this tool to make a closer fit. Just by cleaning off the edge of the hole like this. 
and that allows the fat portion of that hinge to kind of nestle in there and you can make a real nice close fit as this. Repeat that on the control surface, the elevator, and do the, uh, do the um, CA same as the other one. You don't have to oil these, they seem to be pretty well protected. The other hinge we have is the tape hinge. And that involves just taking a piece of tape, cutting it, go ahead and cut it, there you go. Lay the other uh, control surface if you like, doesn't matter which way you like to use it. Line it up, put some weights on it possibly, and just start at one end. Close it off, trim what's needed, and you've got a nice simple hinge. This tape material will not um, remove any paint that you have. It's easy to redo if it gets messy. Just remove it like this and redo it. And see, it didn't, didn't bother anything to the foam. Anyway, this is our way of uh, assembling our hinges, installing them. We have the three styles. We have this nice kit here, this hinge slaughter kit, which works on both, and this little tool that you can make on your own. Doesn't cost anything. That should do it.